My name is Aaron. Uh, I'm a computer science senior undergrad uh, at CU Boulder. My professor is uh, Clayton Lewis. I've been working with him for the past couple years, you know, doing uh, research on uh, brain computer interfaces actually. Um, last year was just an initial research on neuroscience and the current state of brain computer interface technology. And uh, this year I actually uh, wrote a proposal and got funding to uh, get my hands on some of this technology. So this is the Epic headset. Uh, it's the first, uh, among the first of its kind uh, in the consumer industry uh, for brain computer interface technology. The main part of the project is to test the headset's capabilities with a robot in the real world. So I'm here with Michael in the Corel lab and the Prairie Dog robots to test this out. Uh, this is the Prairie Dog robot, and it's a little robot that we're designing here at Coral Lab for research and development. So it's got a lot of um, capabilities for a really inexpensive robot, which is neat. It's built on top of the iRobot Create platform, which is kind of their vacuum platform without the vacuum in it. And then we run all of the brains here on this little netbook computer, which is very inexpensive as well. We also have this robot to do other things besides just run autonomously. And that's one of the neat things that we're looking at today. And so we can hook other controllers up to it fairly easily, like the visor for the brainwave input that Aaron's gonna show us. This thing is really neat. Um, he'll be able to control this just using his mind powers. The mind reading visor that we're gonna use today, we wrote a little node that just controls the robot using uh, keyed input. And so then we remap the visor to those keys and then it gets the input into the robot. The hardest part, yeah, is actually figuring out how to turn it. Um, you can go forward, backward pretty easily um, because those commands, of course, are uh, programmed cognitively. So if I think push, then it's going to push forward. You know, if I think pull, it's going to pull back and go in reverse. Um, but winking, that's what's bound to the steering right now. If I wink left, it should turn left. If I wink right, it should turn right. Um, but uh, according to the visual mapper, um, I'm either blinking or raising my eyebrow or smiling whenever I try to wink. <laughs> 